Hey YouTube, eventually I got to this car. This is Jamie McMurray's 2011 Flash Coat Silver Chevrolet. What a nice die cast this is to have. My dad bought this for me for my birthday, which is was back in June. And as most of you know, I'm a pretty big Jamie McMurray fan. I know better Jamie McMurray fans than me, but I've always rooted for McMurray and that stands true as the JM26 stands for Jamie McMurray 26 from back when he raced with Roush. So I've been a Jamie fan for uh, since since he raced with Ganassi back in his rookie year. And I think I mentioned that when I reviewed his Haviland Dodge car from his rookie year. So this is a flash coat silver finish. Um, you can kind of see the shimmer. Right there, see the, uh, right next to the tracker boats. Very nice. This car is really, really, I'll say it, it's pretty. Um, it's got a nice design to it, and it looks really, really good. Uh, when I first saw this car, I just thought it was just straight silver, but no, you can see the shimmering finish on the car. Oh, yeah, looking really nice. So, yeah, I, I like die cast. I'm sorry, I like to talk to my die cast sometimes. I, I'm weird. I'm weird. I, just, just unsubscribe right now. <laughs> just kidding. Please don't unsubscribe. That would be that'd be really bad. But anyways, 2011, Jamie McMurray. I believe 2011 was the year they brought in the wild card system, where whoever outside the top ten, you got two free wild. I believe that was the year. Yeah. Where they entered the wild card system, and it was made after this guy because in the 2010 season, McMurray had two wins, and I think he finished somewhere around 17th in points at the end of the regular season, and he missed the playoffs because I believe they expanded the field to 12. But prior to that, I'm not too sure. And then they made it two wild card positions after that. So whoever had the most wins outside the top 10 would get the wild card, which is what I do in the AFI Cup Series Season 8, for those of you who don't know. And McMurray had two wins in 2010 and missed the chase. And he performed well in the chase, I believe, as well. And he, McMurray had a very good 2010 and a very bad 2010, if that makes sense. He was very inconsistent, but sometimes he was just downright good. I mean, he finished second to Denny Hamlin at Darlington. He... Finished, I think, third at Bristol to Kozlowski and Kyle Busch. He won Charlotte. I think he finished second in the Coke 600. Or maybe, yeah, he finished second in the Coke 600 to Kurt Busch. So McMurray almost won a lot of races that year. And almost, almost as close. But he still got three wins. So Charlotte, um, Daytona, and Indy. But this was 2011. And it was a very, very disappointing year for McMurray fans. I remember, like... Being so pumped up for McMurray because he just had a good 2010. Well, not you know what I mean, like a decent performing 2010. I was waiting, looking for him just to come out, kick some butt, win some races, and then it never happened. But now we see McMurray, and he's actually running well this season, and the two seasons prior where he's actually ran really well and made the chase both times. So that was great for McMurray. In 2015, 2016, but 2011 was just such a terrible year for McMurray. But this is his his standard Bass Pro Shops paint scheme with the flash coat silver finish to it. So once again, the shimmer, and then on the front you got Bass Pro Shops on the hood, the orange Chevy logo, Impala number one on the headlight, and then you can see the flash coat silver really shining right there. Number one, Tracker Boats, Mercury, McDonald's, and then a bunch of sponsors I don't know. <laughs> Tracker Boats and Bass Pro Shops right there. Uh, McDonald's, then looks like a Bass Pro Shops gift card right there. Not sure why. Then Arctic Cat, Share Our Passion. And on the bumper, you got the camouflage, which I always liked about the Bass Pro Shop schemes is they were always run like a camouflage look to it. So very, very nice looking paint scheme. I love this car, and I thank my dad so much for buying me this diecast. And funny story, I got this diecast uh, for my birthday, and I was hoping to get it signed by Jamie McMurray at a McDonald's display at Michigan International Speedway. But guess who didn't show up? 
McMurray, because you know why? It rained. Boo. I hate it when Mother Nature... This is like the third time it's, that Mother Nature has ruined me meeting J.B. McMurray. But, oh well. As always, next time, and thank you, Dad, for getting this car for me. And hope everybody enjoyed this little opinion show slash story slash mini review. Thank you everybody for watching. This is JG24, James26, signing out.